Hey, it's Robin at Homeschool Planet. I wanted to show you how to use the assignment generator to quickly generate a whole batch of assignments, perhaps even an entire class, using the tools Homeschool Planet has provided. So we're going to go ahead and create a class first, which is super quick. You may already have created the class, um, and if that's fine, you'll just select the title and then choose Edit. But to start a class to add assignments, we click on the calendar and then choose class. We're going to choose a subject. Let's go with history. Let's give it a title of U.S. history. Let's assign this to Matthew. We're going to do this class every day. It can begin 920 and 624. And I'm going to leave it at no particular time. So that's all there is to just starting the class. Now, if I wanted the same day or assignment each day, I could use this. But this tutorial is about the assignment generator. So I'm going to click here and kind of talk through these five options. The first is I want to repeat the same assignment over a range of dates. So read two pages in your reader or something that isn't going to have any changing info. It's just going to be a direct um, statement that you apply the same thing to each day. Or I have a long reading that I want broken up over a range of dates. So for something like that, that means let's say you're adding a book that has 1,000, let's say our book starts on page 8, and 1,000 maybe of it. It has 672 pages. I don't want to skip any days. Let's go ahead and have this reading occur Monday through Thursday. So now this is 144 days. I'm going to click Next. Then in the front, I'm going to set Read Pages. And you can see it's going to start with eight, page 8, like I said. And it's going to run this all the way through the end of my 672 pages. Now, you can even, if this is a document or online, you can add a website, a reminder, a PDF. So this assignment generator piece just lets you map something out very quickly, and it does all the math for you. But let's go back and back again and look at another option. My assignments for follow a recurring pattern. So if in history, let's say we do history five days a week, we're going to go next, and then we're going to say um, complete lesson one. I want it to say on the first day, my number is in brackets, in braces, actually. I always call them fancy brackets, but in braces to tell the system to continue. The next day, we are going to review lesson one. The next day, we are going to complete vocab for lesson one. The next day we are going to say study lesson one and then take test. So I can look down here and see the preview of what I'm doing and see that each week it assigns We scroll up, we have week one, week two, week three, and it repeats. So that's how you would do something that in this case I have five days and I want to do the same item one all that week. Now you can actually add um, another assignment to a particular day. You can remove a day from the pattern. Over here you can add another day to the pattern. Let's pretend it's the middle of the year. You're all ready on lesson 12. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. And I'm going to make this, no it's 12. So now I'm looking at 12, 13, 14, 15, etc. That's how you use recurring. Let's go back again and look at another option. This one says I have a specific number of assignments that need to be completed by a specific date. So let's say I have um, 112 assignments, and I need them to be completed by the end of this semester. So I need them completed by December 17th. 
I don't want to skip any days. So I'm going to go like this and it's going to automatically generate how many assignments. I can put in any text here I want, complete history videos. There we go. And we see those laid out. Let's go back again and back again. And the next option is I have a specific number of assignments, but no specific end date. So I'm just going to, in this case, go to the end of my year. I'm going to tell it, let's say I have 132 this time. And actually, let's go ahead and skip doing these on Wednesdays and keep that, say next, and it will do Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Whenever you find the option you like, you're going to click OK. It's going to ask you, are you sure? Yep. And then it's going to add those to the calendar for you. That's it. We hope you find this tool super helpful. If you have questions um, or need any help, please reach out to us at support at homeschoolplanet.com. Have a great day.